Okay. Then number five. Um, no, it's not ASS. You make me record myself saying this. Some parents gonna like call the school. Yeah, right. Oh. Okay. So then we have a side and an angle, but just an angle and a side doesn't prove any congruence, so we cannot prove that those are congruent. They could be congruent, we just can't prove it. Then number six, um, vertical angles are congruent. So then on the two triangles, you have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle matching. So these are congruent because of angle, side, angle. Number seven tried to trick you. Did anybody catch it? Um, number seven has side, angle, side, and then it has angle, side, side. Um, so they aren't matching, so you cannot prove those are congruent. Number eight, the side, side, side. Number nine, vertical angles are congruent. So you have side angle side and side angle side. And number 10, because of the reflexive property, we can say that's equal to itself. And we have side, side, side. OK. Then over here, this one is a little bit different. It says, state what additional information is required in order to know that the triangles are congruent for the reason given. So they gave you a reason, angle, side, angle. Here they show you that one of the angles are congruent. We also know that this is equal to itself because of the reflexive property. What else do we need to know for angle, side, angle? We would need to know that this angle is congruent to this one. So we would need to know that angle D, U, T is congruent to TUS. Number 12, they want us to say what's needed to prove side angle side. We already know that's equal to itself. They gave us this angle here. We'd also need to know that this segment is congruent to this one. So segment XK would need to be congruent to WV. And then you would have side angle side on both triangles. Thirteen, side angle side. We have side angle, side angle, side angle side. So segment CA congruent to LJ. Fourteen angle side angle. Um, we would need to know that this side is congruent to this one. So segment DE is, would need to be congruent to JK to have angle side angle. Fifteen side angle side. So you have side angle. We need this one equal to this one. So segment JI needs to be congruent to segment TS. For number 16, angle side angle. We have angle side, we need angle L equal to angle T. Seventeen. We know that these are equal to each other. To get side, 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 we'd also need to know that this side is congruent to this one. So RS would need to be congruent to QD. And last but not least, side, angle, side is what we're looking for. Vertical angles are congruent. And then we need to know that this side is equal to this one. So WV would need to be congruent to VM. And that's it. So make sure, once you have it all down, your name's on the top, and then pass it up. And then we're going to move over to notes.